for just tonight. Just a am. little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> All right. We are thrilled to have you here. I'm so happy to be here. And I'm so excited about this first product you're going to bring to us tonight because this is something that every cook needs in their kitchen, and it's Trisha's 5-inch Sentoku knife. It comes along with a sharpener, and this is from a great company that I'm well familiar with called Fury. Yes, they are out of Australia, and they've been wonderful to work with me on what do I like and what do I not like. And they have put a lot of effort into, if you're going to get your very first knife, good for a young chef or a cook, like mm -hmm. you want a sharp knife. You know well, of course. that, you know, that you're going to hurt yourself with a dull knife, so a sharp knife is it's what you want. It's usually not a sharp knife that'll cut you, and the reason that a dull knife is more quickly or, or more liable to cut you is because you're working harder. Right, exactly. So you need a good sharp knife, and this one will stay good and sharp because it comes with its own sharpener, but really a uniquely designed one. Yeah, one that you can't mess up. You know, I have sharpeners at home, honestly, that I don't know how to use, um, but this one <laughs> makes it at a 20 degree, degree angle, so when you put the knife in there, you've got a protector for your hands, so you're right. going to cut yourself. You put the knife in there, it just, it does it for you at the 20 degrees, and this works on any knife in your kitchen and not just this knife in particular. And then once you go through there a couple of passes, you've got a perfect brand new edge. Exactly. I love that you designed this knife to where it is a usable size. You know, so many times I think a home cook gets a knife that's too big for them, right. and they feel a little uncomfortable with it. Right. Well, it's also, it's got a hollow handle. You can feel how lightweight it is. It feels great. It's one piece, so you don't have to worry about stuff getting kind of stuck in between the blade and the handle. Right. Um, they designed it for, uh, they studied carpal tunnel syndrome, so it actually fits in your hand very comfortably. Oh, right. And um, with a big enough grip that you're not worried, you don't, so you don't have to grip it really hard because your sure. hands aren't going to slide. I mean, exactly. it's just all those good things, but I just really like that it's sharp and that it works. Um, I'm it's also really ergonomic and it promotes the proper handling of a knife. You grab it with your thumb and your uh, and your uh, index finger and then wrap your other three fingers around That's and it's right. ergonomically designed so now you can really get in there and do some nice cutting. And you cutting. can chop as finely or as thickly as you want to. It also has this really cool, they, they, they have, um, I think they're called scallops, but I call them divots, <laughs> and, uh, they, and they help the food um, kind of not stick to the knife so much. Yeah, and just so slide off. One exactly. of those things that, that's really nice. So you are helping make, um, oh, you're just showing, well, see, now you're just all fancy, David. No, David's I'm not fancy at all. Oh, my gosh, I'm not at all. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I love your show because you approach cooking with the same joy we do here on In the Kitchen with yeah, David. Yeah, well, you want to encourage people to just enjoy themselves in the kitchen and have fun, and so you want your stuff to work. You know, you don't want it to be really, really easy. I just, I just like how the knife feels in my hand, and really, that's what it's all about, you know, is finding stuff that you like, and I, I just, I, I fell in love with these knives. I mean, I've, I've taken a couple of years of, of doing the cooking show to really find the things that I really love, and I love this knife. And it's really, really marvelous because you get a great weight in this knife. Now, remember, never put a knife in a dishwasher. There are two things that'll happen: you'll, you'll, you'll damage the knife, and you'll likely damage the inside of your dishwasher. What right. you want to do is war uh, wash these in warm, soapy water, dry them thoroughly, and then store them away safely. So that's going to be really the best way. I love that you've signed each of these. It's got yeah, your signature, it's got my signature on it. Yeah, signature on that. My mom was a third grade teacher, so. My penmanship is pretty good. I told someone <laughs> earlier that I said she has great penmanship. It's really beautiful. So it's really awesome. It's a wonderful knife. This is Japanese stainless steel. So it really is a fantastic quality knife, whether you're doing vegetables, fruit, or even cooked chicken. Look at yeah, this. Yeah, I'm making chicken salad. This is a chicken poppy seed salad that, that I make that has celery and grapes and diced chicken. And I'm not a very patient person, so I like to get in there and chop the chicken before while, while it's still a little bit warm. Sure. And so you want something that's just gonna slice right through it and it just works, it works really good. Great. This is such a sharp knife, though, look and I think you. that's what really amazes me. I mean, if you take a look here, you're looking at a really, really sharp knife, and a sharp knife doesn't require you to work too hard. It's a nice weight, too. I like that it's got a hollow handle. So, you know what, folks that don't have an, an, an awful lot of hand strength right. are going to find that this is a very comfortable knife to use. Yeah, I do a lot of chopping because I do a lot of roasted vegetables, and I'll notice if after the end of chopping everything up, my hand's almost cramping, you know. But with this knife, you just don't have to grip it too hard. And I'm not worried about it going anywhere on the knife. Sure. And, and I really like it. And I I have to say again about the sharpener, truthfully, I have a whetstone, I have um, the, the thing that, the, yeah, the, and I don't really know how to use them because I'm, I'm, I'm a home cook. I don't really know exactly, and I know you can actually mess up your knives if you don't do it right. So well, this exactly. is a kind of a foolproof method of, of doing it. May I show you also that this all closes up neatly and nicely when you want to store it away. Isn't that cool? But when it opens up, it's got that little protective area there so your fingers never come close to the blade. Right. You're going to put this down on the table like so. I've already dried, oh, let me try that a little more. Go. And then come right through here and just a couple of passes. And then you put a brand new edge on that knife. These are like little diamond fingers that are sticking up. If you think about it, the little sharpener is looking like this, and your knife is going through. Here's the church, here's the steeple. Exactly. Open the door, right? Open so, people. yeah, I'll hear a little people. So, <laughs> there, you just put it right through the top there, and then just go right through, and the knife is awesome. Um, Gabe, how many of these are gone now, buddy? 
750 of them are gone. A lot of people are ordering wow. more than one. I'm going to take make, this one with me then. I think you should. <laughs> Just don't take it to the airport. Uh, but I will tell you, um, these are great, great gift ideas and really, really marvelous. Now, you're not going too far because we're going to go over and do a little cooking next. We are. Which is awesome now that we've done our prep. But let me quickly remind you that last night you were here.